Hi, this is Wes, my amateur radio call sign, W3KW. On the bench today is my Drake 2C receiver. It's fully restored and is working beautifully until today. So, the receive is dead. However, I do have audio. So that part of the circuit is working, but the RF portion is not. So, troubleshooting ahead. I pair it with a uh, fully restored Q multiplier 2CQ speaker, which allows you to peak uh, signals or notch out offending signals when you're operating. The uh, Drake 2C uh, can be either used standalone or with an external mute signal from the uh, matching transmitter, the Drake 2NT. And there's also a built-in calibrator uh, to help you calibrate this analog scale so you know you're right on frequency. You can just slide the little pointer over once you got it just right. So I'm injecting a signal here uh, on uh, 40 meters at 7.2 megahertz from my HP signal generator at about minus 40 dB directly into the uh, antenna jack on the back of the Drake 2C, and there's absolutely no, no um, RF signal. So this is the fun part about ham radio. I'll just pan through the uh, radio here as I'm talking. But troubleshooting is a lot of fun, and usually a lot of learning takes place uh, when you're uh, working on these old radios. So there's the underside. You can see a lot of the work that I've done. This is not an uncomplex machine. There is a lot going on in there. And so uh, tight quarters and um, uh, safety is paramount. There's some high voltages in there. So you got to use uh, safe practices while you're in there. And luckily I have an outstanding manual which shows voltages at test points and a fantastic um, schematic which shows the signal path uh, through the various stages of the radio. It makes for troubleshooting, uh, uh, much easier troubleshooting and a lot of fun. I'm sure I'm gonna learn a ton and I'll use uh, the, the uh, Boat Anchor Forum at www.qrz.com to uh, enlist help from those familiar or electrical engineers, and it should be a lot of fun. Stick around for more. 73.